We do have developing news out of Seattle this morning, and there it is. You can see that back of all southbound lanes of I-5 south of Mercer Street are blocked right now after a crash involving at least three vehicles, including a semi-truck. Yeah, so this is a live look again at that backup. Traffic is just inching along. You can see they are being diverted off the freeway there, and our Dan Griffin is live out there. Dan, you just got some more new information. What can you tell us this morning? Yeah, so at this point, we've learned Washington State Patrol says that the driver who caused this crash in one of the cars, by the way, is now uh, basically in custody as they continue to investigate this for suspected impairment. Over at Harborview Medical Center is where that driver is now. You can see the scene here still blocking southbound I-5 at this point. They are looking at investigation for vehicular assault. Essentially, from what we understand, two cars were involved in this crash, and then a semi came along and was, quote, barely involved, according to WSP, but made contact with one of the vehicles. Semi-truck driver was okay, but initially, this is how it all played out, according to troopers. So. They say the first vehicle spun out, was facing the wrong way. A second vehicle then hit that car. Seattle fire crews say they treated seven patients, including a couple of people at least, out of the second vehicle that crashed into the first one. Somebody may have a broken leg, according to WSP, and somebody may have internal injuries, including uh, potentially a juvenile. So that's what we know about that so far. But. I want to spin this camera around here so you can just see how the backup looks right now. You can see here getting off at Mercer, uh, still just a very difficult situation. So if you go this way, this is what you're going to be up against. So we're going to be here through the morning, continuing to keep an eye on this scene as well as the backup here. Uh, obviously, this is going to be a little bit difficult. A lot of people uh, have the holiday. Some don't, though. And so they may need to be uh, coming through here as well. So we'll keep you updated on this throughout the morning uh, again as we watch this scene over here as well. And we try to uh, get more information from WSP as well as the uh, hospital. So we'll keep you updated. But for now, reporting live, Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News.